Hey guys, Justin Perry here with a quick video review of R.L. Allen's New King James Version Bible. This is the black goatskin large print thin line, and the large print thin line is actually the only New King James that R.L. Allen publishes, but they do also have it in red or brown goatskin. So uh, let's just take a look here. One of the things you'll notice right away is that the grain in the goat skin is just really superb. You have these deep vertical ridges that run all the way through. And this particular copy has consistent grain on the front and back cover. Of course, you've got Holy Bible stamped on the front in gold. Um, you'll also notice that you've got the red under gold art guild and that's what kind of stands out as red as you look at it from different angles and you'll probably notice also that there is a double gold gilt line that runs around the perimeter of the cover which you can see even whenever it's closed as we open it up here you'll see that it's a leather lined cover which is just a great feature and uh, it makes it a really flexible cover, although I certainly wouldn't say it's a soft cover. Uh, but whenever you open it, especially with the large print thin line dimensions, it really just flows right over your hand like water as you're holding it. It's a great Bible to hold in the hand, a great Bible for preaching or for teaching. So you've got leather lining, you've got the double gold gilt line. You can see that blue end page there, which gives it a really classy, unique look. And one thing I'll comment on about the perimeter is that it is glued rather than stitched. And this isn't my preference, but it's so well executed that you can barely even see it. There's a very thin fold over, and even though it's glued rather than stitched, it's very well done, and you can barely even tell that it's there. So I would say the cover of this Bible is just really superb. It has that vintage old world look. You've got the wide yap, which means a very wide overhang along the edges, which just gives it a great look. As we open it here, we'll take a look at the book block. Uh, you'll notice this is a double column, verse by verse format. That means that each verse gets its own line, makes it very easy to find when preaching or teaching. You'll also notice that there are center column references. Uh, which is also kind of a nice feature uh, for a teaching or preaching Bible. My preference for a reading Bible is a single column ver uh, paragraph format, but for a preaching or teaching Bible, this is great. Uh, it is a large print font, uh, but it's not huge. I think it's around a 10 point, um, which is big enough for me, but it is an old style font. It's not the new sharp, narrow fonts that you'll see in some of the newer Bibles. Uh, it's more almost like a typewriter font. Uh, but again, to me, it just keeps with that vintage old world style. One thing that I notice immediately with this Bible is that the paper is not the same white, glossy, opaque European Bible paper that you'll find in a lot of high-end Bibles from Cambridge or Schuyler or even from R.L. Allen. It's actually the same paper and the same text block that Nelson uses. But of course they've put the red under gold art gilt edges uh, on the paper, but it's still the same text block and the same paper. So that means it's not quite as opaque, it's not quite as bright, and it's not smooth to the touch, but uh, it's still doesn't affect bleed through that much. There's definitely some bleed through, but not enough to distract me. Uh, and I think it still looks good, even though it is really just a standard Bible paper rather than the glossy white European Bible paper. Uh, so here are just a few of the things that I've noticed. Um, I think it's a great Bible for preaching or teaching, probably the best option available for New King James, because there's really not a lot of options. Uh, I would recommend the Bible, especially if you're looking for something to use in a public setting. Uh, I think it's very well executed, very beautiful, and um, I think it's a good choice. So thanks for watching. Please check out my blog at gloriousnuances.wordpress.com.